What's up guys? Here I am with the PlayStation 3 3.55 hack. I know this is out of the ordinary. This is something I normally don't do, but hey, I want to switch it up a little bit. Anywho, let's get it started. The first thing you want to do is have a flash drive plugged up to your computer. And you want to make sure it's formatted in MS-DOS FAT32. Make sure it's formatted like that. The second thing you want to do is open up your flash drive. <clears throat> And you're going to want to create a folder inside that flash drive called PS3, all capitalized. Now, inside that PS3 folder, you're going to want to create another folder called Updates, Update, all capitalized. And we'll just uh, hold off on that for right now. Okay, now you need to go to the link down in the description and download this folder well, this zip file right here called Stuff You Need, because this is what you're going to need to hack the 3.55 original PlayStation update. Once you download that, you're going to want to unzip it, and you're going to want to find out wherever you unzip the folder at, which in my case, anything I unzip goes straight to my desktop. I'll just drag that in here. Okay, once you have that folder, you're going to want to open up the stuff you need, and you're going to want to open up this jailbreak right here. We'll get to these two later on. So once you unzip the jailbreak, you'll have a file called ps3update.pup. Now what you want to do with that, you, you're going to want to go back over to your flash drive and in that update folder you created within the PlayStation 3 folder, you're going to want to drag <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to drag that ps3update.pup file into there. I already have it in there. I'm just showing you guys. So I'm not going to replace it. Once you have that in your flash drive, you're done for that part. Now I'm going to switch over to the PlayStation 3 and show you guys how to crack the 3.55 original PlayStation update. Okay, once you plug your flash drive into your PlayStation 3, you want to turn your PlayStation 3 on. Then you're gonna want to scroll. <clears throat> you want to scroll over. Excuse me. I think I'm getting sick. Then you want to scroll over to settings and system update. You'll click on system update and you'll update via storage. Now, as you see on the screen, it says version 3.55 JB. That's the crack. What you're gonna want to do is hit OK. I'm not gonna hit OK because I already did it. What it'll do? It'll install. Then your PlayStation will will turn it'll turn to a black screen then it'll beep like eight times and it'll beep like three more times and all it'll probably be like 11 beeps don't go bazooka there's nothing wrong with your playstation 3 that's just how the crack works and again let me express this the crack is only to play emulators right now you know as far as i said super nintendo game boy sega etc it's not actually to back up any PlayStation 3 games yet. They haven't cracked that, that part of it yet. But long as you're running the original version 3.55, this crack will crack that 3.55 to make it so you can play the Sega Genesis, etc. Okay, after that, you're going to want to, after you do that update and turn your PlayStation 3 back on, you're going to want to scroll over to, to, um, excuse me, you're going to scroll over to games. If you see this install package files right here on your screen, you have done the crack correctly. We'll pause right here. Now I'm going to head back over to the computer to show you how to install the Super Nintendo emulator. Okay, now that you're back over to your computer, you're going to want to go back um, into the Stuff You Need folder. And you're going to unzip the Super Nintendo 9X folder. Once you extract that, you're going to want to open it up. And in here, there's three different packages. There's one for the PlayStation version up where, I'm sorry, update 1.92, which is old as dirt. The one for the 3.55 or the one for the 3.41. Depending on which hack you did, which is the hack I'm doing is for 3.55. So you're going to want to take this 
go to your flash drive and you're going to want to drop it in your flash drive now any package files you don't need to create a folder to put them in you can just drag them and drop them which I'm going to show you right now uh, this, uh, stuff you need so again you want to take 3.5 package and you're going to want to drop that on your in your flash drive also what you want to do while you're at it is create a folder that says SNES ROMs something that you know where you put the games for the actual for the actual emulator you want to create a folder to keep the games in alright head back over to the stuff you need you're gonna unzip Street Fighter 2 in this instance I got Donkey Kong also in there for you and what you want to do with that you'll do the same thing you'll drag it over to your flash drive and you're gonna put it in the ROMs folder depending on which emulator you're using and you just drop it in the ROMs folder and the game should be in there okay so at this point on your flash drive you should have the SNES 9X CFW 3.55 package in there and you, and you should also have a created folder Super Nintendo ROMs and in that ROM you should have the games that I created in the package the stuff you need package now I'm gonna head back over to the PlayStation 3 and hopefully that'll be the last part of this video alright now we're back on the PlayStation 3 and this is the last part of the video I just wanted to show you guys that you still can sign online you still can play your games online with this particular hack because you're not actually pirating games yet you're just making it so you can play emulator emulators on your PlayStation 3 meaning you can play Mario or all that so you want to scroll over to your games and go back into your install package there you'll find the emulator the, the Super Nintendo emulator 9x as far as the games go you don't have to worry about the actual ROM saying SNES 9x as long as it's Super Nintendo compatibility you'll be able to play it on the Super Nintendo Immaculator emulator sorry about that Anywho, so you want to go ahead and install that. It'll only take like five seconds, as you can see. You're going to back out of there, and then you're going to scroll down to your games and find where you put that Super Nintendo emulator. And voila, there you go. You just officially hacked your PlayStation 3, and there's your Super Nintendo. Let's launch it. This takes a couple seconds to uh, actually load up. But, uh... Okay, here you go right here. Once this screen pops up, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to scroll down to dev USB 006. It might not actually say 006. It might just say 000 whatever. As long as it's the dev USB. What you want to do, you're going to click in there. And this is the actual flash drive. All my files is on the flash drive. And as you remember before, we made that SNES slash slash ROMs folder. You're going to want to scroll down there. And then there should be the actual ROM game for the Super Nintendo. But again, it doesn't have to say 9X on the end of the ROM game. And there you have it. There's all your games right there. Oh, yeah, and the top games with the, da with the dot dash, don't launch that. For some reason, I don't know why I put duplicates on the um, USB. But those aren't the ones you want to do. You want to actually play the games on the bottom which actually starts with letters which are right here don't forget the ones with the dot dash you don't want to launch because all you get is just a black screen it won't do nothing but anyways there we go I just launched NBA jams and that is final right there yo you officially hacked your PlayStation 3 and uh, all copyrights go out to Geo Hot for finding this hack even though he's going through a lawsuit right now, but oh well. Um, so, I mean, like I said, if you don't know what you're doing, don't even bother hacking your PlayStation 3. I mean, it's simple. As long as you follow the steps, everything should go perfect. And again, this is for 3.55 hack. Not 3.14, not 3.33, whatever. 
But as you can see, the game is launching, and I'm playing with my regular PlayStation 3 controller. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And I'll leave the link in the description for all the files that you need. Alright, peace. Showtime! Tonight's matchup, Magic versus Mavericks.